I see that. So a, a, a big, huge part of you being able to do any type of drilling is also dependent on your partner's ability to create the proper position for you without restricting you from doing that position. Yeah. So, but because you guys aren't too familiar with this, sometimes what you guys are having trouble with is with this leg, okay? And when to hook this leg with your hand and when to hook that leg, okay? And how your legs should begin to take this knee, okay, and this leg and pendulum it out as your feet go out and your head dives in. I want to come up right here, okay? And I want to dive underneath and readjust, okay? The reason why I need to dive underneath is so I can be flat and under him. I don't want to be on my side. The only time I need to be on my side is if I'm moving him. If I'm going this way, this way, this way, this way, okay? What we're gonna do now is <clears throat> you're in the deep half. Also remember, to pinch knees properly, your feet should be wider than your knees. So that as you lift the hips, the knees pinch more. If you're here, I can't pinch my knees any more so than my groin can pinch it. If I'm here, I lift my hip and I can create pressure into the knee, into my knees, okay? So what I'm gonna do from here is, remember my hand can be here at his hip, could be at his back, could be at his belt, okay? Sometimes maybe even the lapel, but your shoulder locks in there. So what we're gonna do is this. You're gonna gable grip just above his knee, right here, okay? And my objective is, okay, so if you gable grip it, grip it right, right about here, okay, you'll get him there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, likes, likes some, some sort of situation goes on here that's very important. <laughs> yeah, right but let's say you're here, and what I want to do is I want to pull his knee to the mat to get a reaction for him to lift his knee so that I can roll back up. So as I go here, my left hand is still at that knee, and I keep driving forward here, driving forward. So I'm like to do this right here. Get the knee bar here, but if he turns his toes to the right, I'm able to get here, 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 and climb towards the chest. Right. So is that left hand that has a grip of the pant that's protecting you from the triangle? They get that right out when you're down in. What I'm doing is that as you roll to the to your knees, your hand that's here is going to reach for the back. Okay. But you're not just rolling like, like this. You're, you're like you're here, and you're actively moving your hips underneath. So you're, it's a called a hip heisting. I think it's the rest was called. <clears throat> so sometimes you grab that leg. Sometimes you grab this leg. I don't need to grab this leg now because it's up. If his leg were down. then I could grab that leg, okay? To load his weight up on me. But if you notice, I went, okay? So we're here. This was an extra step I didn't need because I can go here, okay? He's already turning this in. Because here, I'm just gonna bring it down. He brings it back up. So he can't close his door. If I can get here, and he's flat. One, one, two, three. And climb the head. Does that make sense, guys? So one last time. If this knee is down, you will hook that leg to lift him up. But John, to answer your question, watch what my legs do. So lift this leg. Both down. Look. 
So if you're here, okay, and the leg is not up, 